Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem tree diameter taken from CSES. And the problem is from tree algorithms category. So as the title might have, <laughs> okay, this as well. So the problem statement is simple. You have to find the diameter of the tree. And the diameter of a tree for a tree is that to uh, take any two node and calculate length between them. So you have to pick two nodes which are at the uh, farthest distance. For example, three, two or three, four, the distance between them is four. Okay. And this is your length of the diameter. Basically the longest length that you can, uh, part of the longest length that you can find in a tree that is called your diameter. In this case, it is four, length four, one, two, three, four, right? So we have to print the length of the longest uh, longest path basically the diameter of the tree right uh, I already have two lectures uh, and in this lecture in in this editorial I'm going to use dynamic programming one okay we have two ways to calculate diameter of a tree one way is to use two DFSs and then another way is to use dynamic programming both of them I have covered the DFS one I have covered in the uh, graph theory course part one series link of which i'll be providing in the description of the video the second one i've just recently covered is using dynamic programming okay so uh in this lecture since i'm going to use the the technique dynamic programming uh i highly advise you to go through the lecture in which i have uh in which i have uh, taught how you can calculate diameter of a tree using dynamic programming okay uh in, in this lecture i'll be showing you the implementation of that okay so it, as in the lecture i've explained we need two functions f and g and this is our diameter which we will try to maximize we are already know for each node what we'll do for each child of the current node we will make dfs call to it so that we can calculate its f array f value basically of that child and after that we'll maximize our for current node will will find out or we will maximize the f value of current node right so how we will maximize I've already explained this f of current node is equals to max of f of current node or f of child plus one. This way we are able to maximize find maximum f of child plus one. Okay. After that you have calculated and, and yeah, uh, I'm also inserting all of the f of child values in a list. Uh, this is vector of integer. Okay. Vi is vector of integer. So I'm inserting that in, in a vector so that later I can choose two maximas, right? Because you remember to calculate G value, we need two maximas. So for that, I need to store them somewhere and then sort th th that is what I'll doing. Uh, I'll be doing here. So before that, after running this for loop, after going through all of your child for current node, you already know the F of, uh, we have already calculated F of node. So we it's time to maximize d the diameter right so d is equals to max of d comma f of node after that if child list is greater than equals to two that means there are at least two child so we can choose max two right because we need to choose max two and for that we have already sorted the list after that i'm choosing the maximum two f values of child and adding two to it i have already explained why okay after that g of node is calculated and using that we also need to maximize d right so this way we are calculating yeah there is there there are many uh optimization that you can do uh first one is that you don't need to actually have a list because you only need two values so you can have two variables here and then utilize it somehow uh to find out the max two nodes right what we are doing here after sorting so you don't need to do that okay so these all op optimization i'm leaving for you guys so this is all uh, how you'll be solving this problem and as you can see in the main function nothing is happening i'm simply reading the input after that i'm calling the dfs after that i'm simply printing the diameter as simple as that okay and you can see this is an ac so i'll be providing the link uh, the this code in the description of the video so you can go through this and or use it as a reference to learn so if you still have any doubt or suggestion for the next problem you're more than welcome to do that in the comment section so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drop keep coding thank you